What's up my friends, welcome back to another video and today we are taking a look at the newest release from Fluffy Audio called Melodies. And this is certainly a unique library, definitely a more niche one in the realm of sampling. And I was super excited to kind of check it out a little bit because um, I don't really use loop libraries very much, honestly. And I, I per personally prefer multi-sampled instruments where you can draw in the individual notes and hear those performances come to life. But when this library came out, and kind of seeing all the content that was included, I was definitely interested. So I reached out to Fluffy Audio, or actually they reached out to me and um, I, I agreed to do a first look video here for you guys um, and with you at the same time. So big thanks to Fluffy Audio for sending a copy and big thanks to them as well because we're gonna do a giveaway at the very end in case uh, you're interested in this sort of thing, we'll be giving away a copy as well. So without further ado, let's kind of dive in and take a look at what it offers. So this is the sales page on the Fluffy Audio website. And essentially it's a loop library comprised of over 3000 loops, almost 4,000 loops and contains what they call albums, which are basically sets of loops um, that uh, I, how many, how many libraries are actually included? How many albums? 129 albums here, it says over 3000 loops, uh, almost 10 gigabytes of samples, um, 10 punch in effects, which are essentially effects that you can used to tweak the loops on the fly, which is really cool. And then yes, this library also allows you to import your own custom loops as well. And it's made for the contact player. So super cool. Um, you can just use the free contact player for this. And uh, let's talk about the vision of the library. So again, this is not a multi-sample library. This is essentially a loops library through and through. And what you get is as soon as you load the library, first of all, this is the library itself. It's super simple, just one patch, you drag it in, it takes about two gigabytes here, you can see. Um, and then these are all the different styles and genres that you can choose to kind of nail down or tweak the actual feel that you're going for. So if you click classical, you're gonna get a bunch of those classical albums that are recommended, but these are all the different albums that contain all these different sets of loops. And each album I believe contains 20, eight loops, if I'm not mistaken. So this by default, this is what they give us here. You see this playable range down at the very bottom. There's a lot of colors going on, but essentially what we need to know is that these bottom yellow keys right here, these are the key centers. These are the, you know, C major, A minor, D major, B minor, like the majors and the relative minors. Those are those keys there. Then everything from the purple key range or key here all the way up to this key right here, which is like the B, um, those are the playable slots that you can add loops into. And then all of these red uh, keys over here, which are the black notes, those are the punch in effects. So when you load in the melodies patch, they already gave us a randomized selection of loops. And because they're all in the key of C major, you can see this key switch at the very bottom here, it's on the C, every loop that's loaded in here is going to be played in the key of C major or A minor. Right. So let me show you really quickly what this kind of sounds like. Um, I'm going to start with the C and we'll see what loop we get here. So you get this nice marimba and of course it's tempo synced to your DAW tempo. So right now I'm at 131 BPM, I'm pretty sure. So the loop was recorded at 120, but it synced up to 130 basically. And you see this kind of uh, range is moving here. So there are essentially eight steps in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you go up to 16, this is what you get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And with each of those 16 steps, you can essentially apply any of these effects that you want to by clicking, again, these black notes on your MIDI controller. So they include things like random position. There's repeating that step that we just heard. Um, there's randomizing loops from the album, the respective album that the loop's been taken from. There's again, random position, repeat. Uh, there's also reversing the loop. So here, let, let's give this a shot. So we hear that loop, let's reverse it. Right now, each of those steps is reversed. Let's take that and also move it down an octave. Right, and let's play the next one. This is stereo, so now you get this ping pong effect from left to right ears. Next one. You get this low pass filter essentially, right? Kind of cool. Low five vibes. <laughs> I love the little graphics they give us at the top there. Delay. 
and reverb. Right, and these effects are literally just played in uh, as you want to. So you can literally key switch between them and affect your performances live as you as you record them, and then they're they're essentially locked into your performance, which is really nice. So that's definitely a cool thing to look into. But the real magic of this is when you start actually layering the loops together, right? So let's have a listen. Let's play this loop, which is the marimba. We're gonna add in one more here. Two, three, four. Little electric guitar there. Maybe let's add in one of these lower loops here. Maybe a little drums at the bottom. I'm going to replace the loop at the top here, actually. I don't really like it too much. So you hear more of a pad now in the mid range there. That's kind of nice. What if we added one more loop here above that? One, two, three. Whoa. Let's try another one. Two. Let's change the drums at the bottom. Oops, should probably line it up. this bed right here you can just oh sorry that was really loud uh, with this bed right here you can literally just like sing on top of it you can play another instrument on top right um you could even like start with the drum loop for example so add in the bass oh sorry and you can start singing on top of that for example so it's like Right, so you essentially add in one loop at a time every couple of bars if you wanted to, and then that builds your groove, and that just lays that perfect foundation for your actual melody or whatever you want to add on top of that. So this library is essentially like a fundamental loop library that gives you these tons of uh, you know, different options and albums to choose from. So you might be wondering, how do I actually customize this in terms of the actual loops, um, like deciding which loops I want to drag to which positions. So as far as I understand, what you need to do is select a a key in the within the playable range where the loops can be assigned to. So let's select the C again. Then we want to come up here and choose one of these albums that we want the specific vibe from. So let's say we want something chill. We're going to click that. And then here on the on the left side are all the loops, all of the oh, actually there's like more than 28 here. There's there's 36 loops within this one chill club uh album. So whichever loop I want to drag in there or assign, let's choose number eight. Now that chill club loop number eight is now assigned to this C over here. So let's have a listen. Hmm. So it's basically playing a G7 lick, but let's have a listen. Let's choose another loop actually. Let's uh, maybe choose number nine. Let's see what this one sounds like. Uh, yeah, make sure that one's selected, chill club, and then I'm going to go with another loop, let's say number 10. So this one's sticking on the C, middle C note the entire time. Let's have a listen to com co a combination with the other ones. You know, so that's that's a way to essentially drag in the loop that you're looking for, um, and yeah, that that's that's kind of the the workflow there. Let's try another one. So let's say I'm happy with the trumpet one, but for the D, I don't really like this marimba. So let's say we go to the stone fireplace and we choose loop number twenty five. So now when I play the D, we should get this acoustic guitar loop. Cool. Let's layer that in with a trumpet. Three, four. Layer in a 
space underneath. This is kind of cool, actually. You know? And this is all within C major, right? So let's say I want to change the key to G major. Click the note at the bottom. Nice. So that's the yellow key, uh, key range at the bottom. And an F major. You know, I, I, I'm getting in the groove here, but um, yeah, that that's just like the the uh, the very basics of the library here, how you can kind of set that up. Now, let's say you just want a, a blank slate altogether. You just want to go clean, right? So here you can click this little die at the very top right, and you have a number of parameters. You can assign a random loot to the selected key. So uh, for example, if you want to remap this middle C here, or this, you know, whatever that C is, then you can just assign a random loop to that key that's selected. Assign a random loop and parameters to the selected key. So you can switch around the different parameters, I believe. So like the tuning, the reverb, they'll randomize the different order of them on the black notes. Um, then you can do the same thing for the key on the right, or you can just assign random loops to all the different keys. So let's actually select that. So now you can see it's loading. And I believe all these different keys now should contain different loops. So let's go back to the key of C major here by clicking that C at the very bottom. Let's play um, this C here in the middle and see what happens. Okay, so definitely a, a piano loop we haven't heard before. Let's try another one in addition to that. So, you know, it, it maybe maybe you're feeling stuck, you're kind of feeling uninspired, and you just want a, a fresh set of loops to kind of play around with and layer. That's the way to do it, is by going up here and just clicking assign a random loops to all keys. One more thing I want to touch on here. Oh, by the way, yes, you can see here, these are the different albums that you can categorize by clicking the different filters. So if I just want wind libraries, then these are the ones they give us. And so there's only uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 albums full of woodwinds, which is awesome. And then again, you can ch choose and essentially assign those loops to the different keys that you want. So that's one way to filter. And if you want to go even deeper, maybe I want winds, but I want them in minor. Then I click those two and they only give us four album choices, right? Let's see, winds and major. We get five album choices, you can see. So yeah, you can kind of pick and choose and refine your search that way. And then the other thing I wanted to mention was actually importing and assigning your own loops. So actually, let's let's give this a shot. Um, so we have these at the very top. Uh, we're actually going to want to erase these. So let's see, remove loops from all keys. Let's actually give that a shot. This might take a second. There we go. And now we can assign our own loops, right? So we have a complete blank set of blue keys here in which we can assign uh, loops, dragon loops, or we can bring in our own from uh, our own library. So let me do that really quickly. Okay, so I've basically dragged in a WAV file here of me singing a very, very short uh, little motif, and I've assigned it to the C here. So it's the C below middle C, and it sounds like this. And you can see the engine is already repeating the loop over and over. Now, I can also punch in those effects on the black keys. So we get... Let's try uh, maybe one of these.
Oh, I should. Yeah, see, this one's really obvious. It's like reversing that sample. How about an octave lower? As long as I hold it. A filter. Delay. And reverb. Right. Again, those are done on the fly. I could also change the key. So I go down to the bottom. Let's say I want to change it to F. This is now in D minor because I sang it in a minor key. How about F sharp minor? Definitely sounds unnatural there. But yeah, you can literally drag in as many of those, uh, as, as many of your own loops as you want to, up to 29, I believe. And you can basically, again, layer them and play them together like you do with the uh, included loops in the library. So a lot of versatility here and definitely a one of a kind library that I haven't really seen before. So big props to Flavio Audio for putting this out there. Again, this is one of those libraries that you either love or hate just because it is a loops based library. So most people who are uh, more purists in that regard, such as myself actually, um, will might, might tend to stray away from it simply because it's a loop library and you can't really create your own musical ideas there. But again, the pros to this is that these live recorded performances have that natural feeling that you don't get from sampled instruments. Like these are all live recorded instruments, right? So if you put them in appropriately and blend them into your arrangement in a really nice way, then you get you can get some pretty convincing results with that live feel due to those live recorded loops. So I'm sure you're wondering by this point how you can potentially win a copy of this library. So let's get into the giveaway details. Uh, step number one is to fill out the form below in the description box. Just click the first link there and fill out your details and you'll be entered in the system to win, potentially win the copy. Um, I will be sending out the, e uh, the winner via email as usual. So make sure you're filling out that form uh, or else I won't be able to contact you there. In addition, this will sign you up to my email list. So I'll be able to send you free content, uh, valuable information on composing and mockups and stuff every single week to, uh, to help you with your music. So that's an additional perk for signing up and uh, entering the giveaway. Uh, number two is to simply leave a comment below and let me know what you would use the library for. So what would you be, uh, what kind of music would you use with the library? You know, what could you envision yourself using it for? Um, let me know in a comment. I'd love to hear kind of the, the variety of different styles that you guys would be using it for. So I'm um, definitely excited for that. And third, and finally, um, just leave a like on the video. Always helps out the channel, helps out the videos a lot. So uh, much appreciated. And yeah, thank you again. So make sure you follow those three steps and you'll be entered. And again, I'll let the winners know who the winner is in two days. At the time of this recording, it should be a Saturday. So the winners will be announced privately on the Monday. Okay, thank you so much for entering, for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, my friends. Take care, bye-bye.